What's up guys, Kudokun here. So tonight we're going to be doing something uh, a little bit like Kudo After Hours. It's not necessarily an After Hours because unfortunately I am drinking a soda today instead of a coffee. But it's going to be along the same lines. Um, there is a small shop near where I live and it's going to be very, uh, probably not name wise, but it's going to be very similar to a shop that you probably have near where you live. It's basically a secondhand shop where you can get old stuff. Um, my girlfriend and I really, really love going there. You can find all kinds of really great stuff. There's, their stuff is a little bit on the more expensive side. I think they use the internet to decide their prices, but one of the cool things about it is you can actually get things like full board games and stuff, and they're very, very picky about what they actually take in. So it's not like a regular pawn shop where you're actually getting a bunch of crap. Um, for example, if you go out and you get a board game, you can be sure that the board game's going to have all of its pieces, and there's actually a 100% money-back guarantee if any of the pieces are missing. So, uh, I came across this. This is a very unusual find at that place, because normally they don't really take in things like trading cards, but this is basically a trading card tin for Final Fantasy VII. It caught my eye because, um, of course, it's got this lovely Tifa picture here on the front. Um, Tifa, since childhood, has been one of my, like, top three childhood crushes, so... Uh, she's absolutely the best uh, Final Fantasy girl. If you disagree, that's okay. More for me. You can be wrong about a different girl. And um, this is basically just a tin full of what I presume to be cards from the trading card game. Um, if you don't know, I'm actually a pretty big fan of the Final Fantasy trading card game. I know I don't talk about it very much, but it's a really, really cool game. And it's one of the few, like, unique games that's still alive after a few years of being on the market. Um, it's going into its 15th set, I want to say, this year. So, uh, go, go, Final Fantasy. I'm, I'm really rooting for you there, buddy. Um, this tin, like, of course, it caught my eye because uh, it's got my waifu on it. But it was also about $25. And it is pretty packed with cards. If I take it and I flip it, um, there is a little bit of give in there. Uh, you probably can't see it too well from here, but basically, um, if I shake it around a little bit, I can get some of the cards to give, and it looks like it is going to have a little bit of space in it, but honestly, not that much. So I thought, you know, it'd be pretty neat to sort of go through and to do a sort of unboxing here on stream. Um, this isn't necessarily going to be an unboxing, because, of course, this is going to be somebody's secondhand collection. It's not going to be brand new, and I'm really not expecting anything great out of this. Um, there are three huge gates when it comes to getting a collection like this from a store, as opposed to from somebody else. Um, the first gate is, of course, if somebody was savvy enough to actually look for this card game and collect for this card game... They probably kept all of their rare stuff to themselves. <laughs> um, I imagine that all of the really, really good cards they got from this are probably sitting in a binder somewhere, and I'm probably never going to see them. Uh, the second gate is, of course, uh, when they turned it in, if there were rare cards in it, uh, there's a good chance that the shop owners would have separated those out and probably sold those online for a little bit more money. Now, if both of those things happen to not be true, then there is, of course, a third gate in that this is a $25 collection for... It's been a long time since I've actually counted physical cards like this, but I'm guessing there's probably a minimum of about 400 cards in here. I don't think they would have sold it this cheap, even if uh, it's such a sort of rare underground game, if they saw anything that looked like it might be worth some money. So if there's any holographics or whatever, I don't expect them to actually be in here. Otherwise, they probably would have charged more for it. Now, of course, if by some miracle, the owner of this game just gave it up completely and sold off all of their cards in 110, and the people who took it in didn't take out all of the rares, and on top of all of that, they uh, decided to sell it all for $25 just because they didn't know what they had, then of course I'll be ecstatic, but we really don't know until we find out. So enough babbling, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I've got a small toothpick over here that I'm going to use to open this bad boy up. 
Again, I'm not sure that I'm expecting anything super great out of here, but at the very least, being such a huge Final Fantasy fan, I am looking forward to seeing some of the artwork for some of the cards. Um, I didn't really get a good chance to look through all of the cards, and I'm not just a competitive player. I do also just really like collecting cards. Um, it's one of those things that I've always just liked since I was a kid. I think the artwork on these things is sometimes really, really cool. And it's just nice to sort of show some fan appreciation by collecting cards for a card game. Of course, I'm not a complete pleb. I wouldn't go out there and just collect any of the regular trading cards for any of these. Uh, those days are behind me, but still... As long as I can get my hands on the cards themselves, then I'm okay just collecting them because they're fun to look at. So I'm not going to be able to get all of that off right now. That's completely fine. I'll go ahead and just open this bad boy up. Um, First impressions. I'm actually a little bit unsure about my guess from before. Um, maybe not 400. It looks like it's going to be about 300-ish. Again, I could be completely off. It's been a really, really long time since I've actually handled physical cards. Um, they're in surprisingly good condition, but I don't want to really spoil too much what I actually have here. So let's go ahead and just open some of these up. Get all the ones from the side here. We're just going to flip through some of them, see if I recognize them. I'm also kind of curious to see if they only collected from one set. Really interesting, then I'll look at it from my end here. So let's see here. Loving the Crystal Chronicles uh, <laughs> character there. A uke. Respect. I was always a sulky player myself, but that's okay. It's all good. And like I said before, I'm actually really liking the artwork for these uh, particular cards right here. These are... What are these, actually? FFEX. I wonder if that was something specially made for this. I feel like that comes from something, but I'm not totally sure what it comes from. Showing my true colors as a uh, fake Final Fantasy fan here. I really don't know where a lot of this artwork comes from. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. A nice little lightning card there. Oh, is that dual color? Honestly, I've been out of the game for so long, I don't even know if they have dual color cards. Yeah, it's green and purple. Nice. That's super awesome. I'm really into that. Do -do. Okay, so seeing a ton of repeats. These are really nice quality. So I've never actually had Final Fantasy cards in person. But the back there, I don't know if it's going to catch on camera. Uh, the lettering is actually like a separate glossy finish to the rest of the card. And the back feels so good. It feels like um, if you were to go to Vegas, the kinds of uh, playing cards that they use there, the back here is probably the nicest I've felt of any card game ever. Part of me kind of wants to uh, tear into one of these cards a little bit just to see what the quality is like on the inside, but we'll see. If I get a ton of one card, I might just do that here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next set here, though. Let me go through this a little bit fast. Crap. Silky, there we are. We're playing uh, Crystal Chronicles together. That's me, baby. They even have my hairstyle in there. It's awesome. Makes me feel a little bit closer to the game, you know? All right, so I'm seeing a few different cards. If I remember correctly, uh, Final Fantasy is one of those card games that have um, somewhere in the hundreds of new cards each set. So it's probably going to be about 150, maybe 180-ish new cards. Um, this is probably the first and last time that I'm actually going to buy for this game. I really don't buy for physical card games anymore. If I'm going to do anything card game related, I normally just do my stuff online. Uh, not for any particular reason. It's not like I hate card games, obviously. <laughs> if you know anything about me, I don't hate card games at all. But um, card games are one of those things that I kind of just privately enjoy myself. I don't really have any friends that are into card games, which is why I have you guys. So... 
Um, that was the first stack there. Of course, I it got pretty much what I expected. I'm going to take a quick look at these cards here, see if they're also all from 13. Seeing the rarity on these is common. So uh, chances are whoever this collection belonged to pretty much just stacked a tin full of commons, and that is what I ended up with. I think even... As cool as this card looks, it is also a common. So it looks like we're just going to have nothing but commons in this. A little bit disappointing, but that's your lot, you know? You buy somebody else's collection. Of course, uh, I sort of called earlier that they would probably keep all of the best cards for themselves. It's exactly what I would do. So I cannot blame them in the slightest. Oh, she's cute. Shalata. Do-do-do. Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, right, right, right. So I don't actually recognize her, which <laughs> goes against my earlier Crystal Chronicles thing, but it has been a while. I never actually got into the remake, um, because uh, when, back when I played Crystal Chronicles, of course, I played with my friends growing up. And now that I don't live anywhere near my friends, and my friends have sort of moved on from video gaming... I don't really have anybody that I could play Crystal Chronicles. And another thing about this, too, and, like, I hate to keep harping on about it, but I, it's not so much that they're all commons. I do wish that they came from different sets. Uh, if I could maybe have a small collection of sets, maybe, like, 8 through 13, I think I'd be a lot happier, but... Them's the breaks. It's also been a little while, so I can't really tell how good a lot of these cards are. Um, I'm a little bit rusty on the rules. So I have to go through and see if anything really catches my eye as being really awesome. But that is task for another time. Right now, we are just opening cards, enjoying a little bit of soda, and taking in the fresh night air. I'm hoping at the very least I have uh, all of the commons <laughs> of set 13. How depressing would that be? If after all of these comments that I've gone through, uh, I still was missing some comments from set 13. All right. I should, at the very least, have every single comment that comes in set 13. Um, it's been a little while since I've actually booted up a Final Fantasy game and played it. I think the last Final Fantasy game that I was working on was... Um, well, 14, obviously, because the new expansion came out. And I can give my thoughts on that in just a second, but... Uh, I think the last one I was working on was actually uh, 15. I think I stopped 15, like, right near the end, and I just never sort of built up the heart to go back and play it. I could go back and finish it off, but uh, the one problem with me, and I'm sure at least one of you can relate to this problem, is whenever I leave a game for too long, I, I really hate going back and continuing a save file. I pretty much have to start over. Um, it's one of my biggest vices when it comes to playing any kind of long RPG, is if I get 40 hours into an RPG, and then I let it sit for two or three weeks, I have absolutely no qualms about starting over <laughs> and just replaying those 40 hours. Uh, it's really, really bad, actually. It's super, super horrible, because it's such a waste of time that it really sort of gnaws at me how much... Uh, I could have completed out of my backlog if I didn't have that little quirk of personality that I had. So we're almost at the end here. Uh, tell you what, guys, since that was such a little bit of a bummer, there's one more stack over here. I'm really not expecting to find anything great. So let's go ahead and see, at the very least, do I have full play sets of all of the commons? And uh, if I do, then I'll at least be a little bit happy with that, and we'll figure out what to do from there. So I'm going to go ahead and sort these. Um, I'm going to take all of the tens here. And while I'm doing this, uh, I guess I'll give my thoughts on something else. So the new Final Fantasy XIV expansion is something I've been dedicating a ton of time to, and it is, of course, fantastic. As you probably heard everybody else say already, um, one thing about me, though, in the Final Fantasy XIV experience is when I first played it, I actually skipped the complete story. 
So there was uh, <laughs> a lot of catching up that I had to do because uh, I just completely skipped the story, which is something that I do with all MMOs. I normally skip the story for all MMOs that come out um, because when I play, I kind of want to make my own story, if that makes any sense. Uh, that and I normally don't really trust the story for a lot of MMOs. There's a lot of uh, fetch quests and side quests and all kinds of stuff that you normally get bogged down with, so it's normally not that great of an experience, but um, I had heard for a long time that the Final Fantasy F uh, well, FF14 itself actually had a really, really good story. So uh, for a while, I actually put off playing it, and I said, okay, so I am going to wait on playing this game until I go on YouTube and actually catch up on the story. And then I realized that just the base game was actually about uh, 25 hours long, which is kind of long uh, to sit down and watch your YouTube videos for. So I kept putting it off um, and I decided, you know what? I am actually just going to go through and replay the whole game, which of course feeds back into the idea that I go back and I restart games. So um, when Final Fantasy XIV and Walker came out, it was really difficult to lock in. Everybody knows this. So what I actually did is I went and made a brand new character on the Japanese servers, because the Japanese servers, surprisingly, um, actually weren't that full. So I made an account on the Japanese servers, which also helped a little bit with my um, actual Japanese practice. And that is what I did. So I went through the main story. Um, I didn't go through all of it. Uh, it is a kind of a beefy game, if anybody knows. But I did make it through all of the base. And um, I'm not super impressed. It was pretty good. Uh, it was definitely better than a lot of other MMO stories that I've seen, um, but I, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I'm quite as uh, hooked on the story as a lot of other people were, which worries me because, of course, that was just the base game. Well, I say worries me. It doesn't necessarily worry me because, uh, of course, I've heard that the game does get even better past that. But, you know, if I'm not that connected to the characters and stuff now, and uh, I don't get more connected to the characters and stuff later, then uh, that is going to be a colossal waste of time. Because I already have a character who has um, a few maxed out classes. Uh, I've got a lot of really, really great gear, and I don't plan on keeping my story character at all. As soon as I get done with the story, I'm going to abandon that part of my account, and I'm probably never going to log into it again. So I am um, a little bit iffy on what I actually want to do with it. Of course, I do plan on going through and finishing the story, but it will probably be at a slightly slower pace with everything else that's come out lately. Um, of course, we have the new Pokemon game, which I am extremely excited for. You guys have absolutely no idea. Bothers me that there are so many leaks online. And there's really no way to block it, of course, if you're on social media at all. Whether it be YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is you use. Uh, you're, you've probably been spoiled on a lot of things already. And just in case you haven't, like, obviously I won't go into any of the spoilers here. But uh, just know that <laughs> the information is out there. And you're probably going to see it whether you like it or not. Especially if you're part of groups like I am on Facebook. Because that is all they're talking about. So something else that I've been doing recently is Monster Hunter Rise. Of course, I'll probably do some kind of video on Monster Hunter Rise pretty soon. Um, I'm actually going to, now that I think about So yeah, Monster Hunter Rise. Um, I did end up double dipping. I do currently have it on PC as well as on my Switch. I don't feel that bad about it either. <laughs> Like, I honestly feel pretty good about my purchase. It runs a lot better on the PC than it does on my Switch. I'm still a little bit undecided about whether or not I'm actually going to uh, get the expansion on my computer or on my Switch. The problem is, on my computer, of course, it runs better, so that's 
sort of leading the pack right now, but I also won't be able to play with any of my friends because I think I'm the only person who owns it on the computer. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been going for about half an hour. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording now, and then I will pick it back up and update you guys on what I've found, okay? That way you guys don't have to sit here and listen to me ramble a bunch. Um, obviously, like I said before, I don't wanna talk too much about some of these other topics because they will make really, really good topics for their own videos, and I don't want to repeat too much information. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it here with a little bit of Moodoo Magic. We should be back right about... And we're back. Okay, so uh, this is about an hour and a half later. Uh, I've got all of the cards sorted by card number to see what I have. Um, I have confirmed that I do, in fact, have all of the comments for set 13, so, yeah, these are the cards that I'm keeping over here. Um, I have four copies of each card that will make a full playset. Uh, basically, just going to keep one playset of each card that I got. And then over here are all of the cards that are <laughs> beyond those uh, four card limits there. So, yeah, obviously, we could look at this two ways. This could either be a little bit of a bummer because, of course, we ended up with so many unusable cards. I do. I am really bummed that... Uh, they only had set 13. Um, but on the other hand, I mean, come on. This is not too bad of a stack to pull away from. It's definitely not $25 worth, but I got that. And I also got a pretty snazzy little tin to put my cards in. So overall, I'm going to be as positive about this as possible. I finally have a little collection of Final Fantasy cards. And uh, I am just going to be happy with that so if you actually bothered to watch through this video uh thank you so much for actually stopping by if you do want to do something in the comments why don't you tell me what you think about final fantasy 16 uh, we've been seeing a lot of really interesting trailers for it lately and uh it is something that i'm very very excited to get more information about this year so what are your thoughts and i will hopefully see you guys next time ciao